Order, order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Target filled.
So now the market is stretched and the software is suggesting that we stop taking default trade and trend trades or reduce quantity. So actually, even if we turn the default strategy on, which is currently on, um, it won't take any trades because um, the price is below 21 SMA. But when it exceeds 21 SMA, the um, trades will be taken automatically. Second warning we have is narrow range, no volatility. So market is snoozing, stop tra taking trade. So perhaps I will, yeah, but now that has disappeared because now a big candle has been formed. So it's possible that the market will go up. Um, and I will keep this on, even though I should be stopping uh, my trading here. Uh, let me stop it actually. Let's follow the directions that the software is giving. But uh, what I wanted to say is even if I keep it on, it won't take any trades because um, software is kind of considering short trades now. Here you see risk takes up 30, uh, 40, about 40, uh, which is above the red candle. It means um, software will not take long trades. It will take short trades. So I'll get short trades if I keep the short, turn the short tra uh, trade button on. But I'm not doing that because market is bullish today. I'm going to take only long trades. So software does it automatically. I don't have to um, turn or turn off long trades button. Um, let's see what happens next. Yeah, ideally it's not the best condition to trade, but um, uh, you know, especially long trades. Uh, so I'll turn it off uh, and see what uh, how the market turns. And note that it says reduce quantity. So I cannot reduce quantity any further because I've been trading only with one contract, which is ATM1. If we was, if I was uh, trading with ATM3, which um, submits three contracts, I could have um, traded with ATM1. But since I have already been trading with ATM1, I cannot reduce the contract size any further. But so I would rather stop trading at this moment until market kind of crosses this crosses this line, market closes above this line. So I will I consider that to be resumption of um, a bullish market. So here uh, you see three white dots, meaning three short trades could have been taken, but were not taken. That's what it signifies. If it was taken, this these um, dots would have been colored orange. It's the same way here, we have four dots, colored dots in teal, teal color, uh, because we had taken those four trades. If we hadn't taken those four long trades, these dots would have been white. And there is a reason why we did not take uh, short trades because uh, market is bullish. You see this um, right side of the chart is all green. It's possible that the you know, market will slightly come down from here till it meets 233 SMA, but I'll not take chances because um, I do not want to trade against the trend. Against the trend trades is good when the market had 
market has stretched significantly in one direction. So I'm getting a signal here. So So I turned the long trade button on. Let's see if uh, it's going to be a profitable trade. No, the signal is gone now. Yeah, it has come Order back again. Bill. Yeah, so trade has been taken. I can turn the scaling button on and take uh, one more trade if I want. So let's see. Target build. 
those queries will not happen because trade was closed profitably. So one more profitable trade. So market has now come back. It's bullish again now with the formation of a big candles. So I will keep trading. Maybe I'll take a couple of more trades before I evaluate the market. So, so far we have taken five trades. Um, software took five trades automatically. Actually one trade I took manually here. Um, I think uh, um, somewhere here, I think the third trade I took manually because uh, I was feeling very good about this candle. Um, so, and the location and everything. So I clicked on buy button and took the trade manually. Otherwise four trades were taken automatically. So the software uh, gives you the ability to not only take trades automatically, but also manually if you want to do so. And so far we have made 100, uh, close to $180. So one more trade is coming. When you see this uh, number uh, preceded by R, then it's a possible trade here. So trade will be taken at the close of the candle. So each candle is 34 seconds. Um, Order filled. So trade has been taken. So let me show you scaling if uh, if it happens. So there is a possibility of a trade here, second trade. But let's see if uh, the trade closes before that or it happens. Target bill. So now it got closed, so second trade did not happen. So I turn off the scaling mode. So one more profitable trade, so about $200.
one more trade is coming. So the number basically shows the risk that you are taking under the presumption that uh, you put a stop just below the candle that's showing the risk value. Orders to order filled. So one more trade is being taken. The market has gone against me, so I would, what I will do is I'll turn the scaling Order mode fill. on um, and try to come out of the trade here for break at break even. So the software adjusts the uh, target automatically so that it could come out of it um, at break even price. So let's see what it does. It plays the second order and move the target automatically to break even. Target filled. So, so we came out of that um, trade at break even. In fact, maybe made a few cents of a uh, dollar, 60 cents of profit. Um, I wanted to do that because uh, the trend is waning now. Uh, maybe if I stayed uh, with just one trade, I could eventually be profitable. But since when the price went against me, I turned the scaling mode on and um, took the second trade and averaged down the price and came out of the uh, trade or, um, at break even and software did that automatically. So that's also a feature that we need to understand. Um, so we made a loss in the first position, but made profit on the second and both canceled each other out. So here I'm gonna stop trading because a trend has, um, uh, uh, is waning, uh, I market is sideways now. It trended nicely earlier. It trended nicely from here. 
and now I see that trend is gone. So we got good six uh, trades and I made profit. So about $216. So that's a okay profit for trading for about 30 minutes. I usually trade 60 to 90 minutes. I to target um, uh, about uh, $300 per account. Um, but um, I'm okay today. Um, I traded only with one contract. Sometimes I trade with two contracts. Sometimes I do mix and match. Uh, but I, since I wanted to do the recording, I didn't want to complicate things. Kept everything simple. And um, we ended up profitably. Uh, thank you very much for watching.